I've been taking a lot of consultations for many years regarding facial hair and how to rid get rid of them. I think this video will give you an honest opinion if facial hair can actually be removed permanently, especially when you have polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS. Hi, I'm Dr. Jyoti Gupta, consultant dermatologist based in Panchil Enclave, and I'll be telling you about laser hair removal effects if you have PCOS. First of all, we need to understand that any unwanted facial hair is a result of abnormal hormonal stimulation. Facial hair comes when there is a hormonal imbalance or when there is an increase in the male hormones in the body. This could also be a result of thyroid problems, prolactin issues, uh, PCOS, obesity and many other metabolic problems. It can also be possible that all of your blood tests are normal but you still have facial hair. This is because hormones are hyperactive in your skin. So either the quantity of hormone is more or the effect of hormone is more in your skin. Laser hair reduction will reduce the existing hair both in thickness and growth rate but it may never remove them completely. You need to understand that laser hair reduction or LHR works on the blackness or pigment of the hair. The thicker and darker the hair, the more heat around the hair will be generated, creating destruction of stem cells permanently. So if there are thick hair on the face, like somewhere around your lower legs or underarms area, then LHR works really well. The hair stem cell will be destroyed and they'll become thinner and sparser with every next session. And afterwards, to maintain this thin hair, you can do a maintenance session once in three to six months. Uh, but if there are intermediate hair uh, thickness-wise on your face, which are easily bleachable, uh, then LHR would not give sufficient re result. This is because the stem cells could not be burned with LHR in such cases. So this is a kind of a grey area in terms of results. You can go ahead with LHR uh, but do not expect much difference in terms of thickness or density decrease. But growth cycle can be prolonged to once in three months. I usually tell my patients to think it as one of the alternate forms of hair removal uh, which is better than waxing, threading, shaving. In such case, I would also recommend to get a laser bleach done from your dermatologist. A normal salon bleach can also be done but it is not recommended by me since it can cause chemical damage in long term. Now let's talk about very thin hair which are not visible to others. Uh, for example, very thin hair on your cheekbones. Uh, in such cases, not only uh, LHR would not give you sufficient re results but your growth can also increase if you will get LHR on these areas. I would not recommend you uh, to go for waxing, bleach or trimmer for such hair. Ideally, one should get a laser bleach uh, for these hairs. Sometimes patients have all thin hair but there are two or three thick hair on their face. For such cases, uh, one should get FUE done or a follicular unit extraction done. LHR would not be helpful for such cases as the hair around those thick hair can uh, be stimulated and they can increase instead. FU is a procedure where we take out the hair by non-laser way which completely remove them in one to two sessions. Now when we have understood that LHR can work on thick and intermediate thin hair, the next question is how many sessions are required. We expect uh, somewhere between 5 to 15 percent hair reduction in one session of LHR. So uh, approximately in 9 to 12 sessions, 60 to 70 percent hair reduction should be uh, seen. These sessions should be taken regularly, that is once in 4 to 6 weeks. After that, you uh, have to take regular maintenance sessions. Uh, if someone is telling you that all your facial hair would be completely removed in just 3, 6, 9 sessions, then you are wrongly guided. No matter what machine they are using, maintenance session is always required. Along with these treatment, hormonal treatment may also be needed if blood parameters are raised or you are a resistance scale. That is, no response is seen even after 3 to 4 sessions of LHR. This is done to reduce the thickness of hair and a growth cycle has to be reduced. Once hair have become thin, then growth chances become less. The hormonal treatment is not for lifelong, mostly it may vary from 6 months to 2 years depending on the response. Overall, what I intend to say is you should have proper knowledge of whether LHR would work for your facial hair because sometimes the growth can increase if the hair type is not right and you are not given proper treatment along with it, especially when you have PCOS. Thus always consult an experienced dermatologist and do your research well before going for any treatment on your face.